Hi, I'm Dr. Jason J. Campbell, and in this lecture, I'm going to discuss uh, the three phases of uh, war, and specifically what's known as just war theory. Um, by the end of the, the video, you should understand what the different phases of war um, are, what the rules governing each of those phases are, and, and specifically what just war theory is. Okay, let's begin. So this is just war Okay, um, so this is going to be the lecture on just war. The first thing uh, to recognize in discussing just war is to label the different events within war. Right? We have uh, a pre-war state, so this is pre-war, right? We have a state where there is battle, right? This is war. And then we have uh, a post-war state, right? So the first thing that we have is sort of a pre-war state. Then we have a state of war. And then lastly, we have um, the state after uh, the battle has uh, completed. And what we're going to do in this lecture is to describe and define each one of these uh, three phases um, technically, and also discuss how these the interrelation between each of these three phases um, yields a better understanding of just war uh, in, in general. Also, in discussing just war, obviously what we're going to be talking about um, are the justifiable reasons for engaging in battle, right? If these criteria are met, then um, a sovereign nation is justified in its engagement in battle, uh, and that's what this, this blueprint uh, will yield. Okay, so the first is known as jus ad, jus ad bellum, is number one, right? So the first, jus ad bellum, uh, and the question is, well, what is jus ad bellum? <clears throat> and this refers to the justice of war. This is the justice of war. Okay, uh, and when we're talking about jus ad bellum, uh, what we're talking about are the necessary conditions uh, that arise in order for a nation or <clears throat> a state to go to war, right? the justice of war, specifically the justice of going to war. So this is obviously a pre-war state, right? This is where the battle actually is. Um, and what we're talking about in number one, in Jusad Bellum, is the justice for going into war, right? So obviously, um, these are pre-war pre -war, uh, conditions and the justice for going to war. There are criteria um, that I'll discuss momentarily regarding Jusad Bellum and what the six criteria are and how they relate to justifying one's engagement in war, uh, we'll soon understand. The next thing to discuss is number two, which is known as jus in bello, right? And this is justice in war, right? This is justice, this is justice in war justice in war. Um, and these rules, right, this justice is going to regulate um, conduct within war, right? So we can talk about rules of engagement for enlisted uh, military. Uh, we can talk about crimes against humanity, genocidal acts, um, and so on and so forth. <coughs> a lot of the rules uh, and a lot of the justice in battle, which sounds sort of counterintuitive, how are there going to be just ways of governing oneself during war, but there are, right? There are, you know, there's justifiable ways to, to fight, um, arguably, and there's um, ways that are unjust. And we'll talk a little bit about that, right? So this is actual battle. And then number three is what's known as jus post, jus post bellum. And this is addresses the cessation of war and, and keeping war. So this is justice, justice after war. Okay, so we have Jusad Bellum is a pre-war state, and this is the justice of going to war. Number two is Jusin Bello, and this is the justice in war. This is what 
um, we discussed when we're talking about actually engaging in battle, rules of engagement, proper conduct during uh, uh, military engagement, and so on. And then number three, a post-war state, which is known as just post bellum, right? and this is the justice after war. Okay, so what we've done so far is uh, you should be able to, at this point, be able to identify the three um, phases of war, jus ad bellum, justice of going to war, jus in bello, which is the justice and conduct within war, and then jus post bellum, which is justice after war.